Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh. How are you, love? Did you have a nice Christmas? Yeah, it was all right. And you? Yeah, it was nice enough, yeah. How's your mum? Oh, you know. Did you get to... Well, I waved through a hospital window. Did you see your brother Darren? Uh, briefly on Christmas Eve. Yeah, is he still on the wagon? No, the sounds of the voicemails I received Christmas morning, I would say no. Oh, that's crap, Deb. I'm really sorry. I know, love. Don't know how much more I can... Anyway, hey ho. I'll put the kettle on, shall I? Oh, yes, please. I could murder a brew. Tell you what, Cathy. Hard over my bloody Christmas dinner. Sweat like a pig over it, I did. <laughs> and then, when it was finished, I looked at it, and do you know what I thought to myself? Not that. Well, I thought to myself, couldn't think of anything worse. <laughs> Felt sick to my stomach, I did. Well, after making 70 odd plates of the stuff, it's enough for anyone, I suppose. Oh, and the bloody Brussels sprouts. Ooh, the smell of. <laughs> How many sprouts have we picked up from Marigold's in the end? Well, it was 70 plates, 40 plates. Oh, you're precise. That makes 280. <laughs> oh, it was weird though, wasn't it, eh? What? The sprouts? No, you daft son. <laughs> the whole thing. Christmas dinners in takeaway boxes being shipped off to people. Oh, no. We should have had the whole centre full of people mm. tucking in. Like usual. How it should be. Yeah. Oh, what about that cranberry sauce, man? <laughs> oh, yeah, who was it again? <laughs> oh, you know, that grumpy old thing from Belle Isle Circus. <sighs> Martin, was it? Oh, that's the one, Martin, yeah. Ringing up. I've got a bone to pick with you lot. I mean, really, you get a free meal, but you still have to find something to complain about. Blood, sweat and tears, but no. Cranberry sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought those Christmas dinners were going to be the death of me. <sighs> Worth it, though. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, some people had it, so... I know. I don't know how some of them got through. <sighs> Thanks for what I've gone amiss, though, but... Oh, you don't know, though. Looks like Santa left us a little present oh, for the two of us. Well, would you look at that? How lovely. Yeah. You've got to be joking. The cheeky buggers. <sighs> well done. <sighs> Ladies, here's a box of fresh air to show our gratitude. That's the thanks we get. Oh, well, that has really wound me up, that has. Well, I suppose. <laughs> what are you laughing at? It's quite funny. Funny? Give them funny. Oh, it's one of them things, isn't it? You'll laugh about it one day. <laughs> <laughs> How's your mum then, love? Oh, I think she needs a pin in her hip. Poor old lass. I know. It was bad enough dropping a shopping off on her doorstep when she was home alone, but now I can't even visit. Feels like she's a million miles away. Bless her. Any idea of when she'll be discharged? Go. They tell me something different every time I ring up. At first, they thought it was her blood pressure. Postural drop, they called it. But now, because of her diabetes, they can't rule out her blood sugar having something to do with the fall. Bloody hell. I know. Well, they're monitoring her for now. She'll have this procedure and then... Get her sorted. Yeah. Mm. Well, I feel like tearing in. Nicking a wheelchair and rolling her out. Yeah, you just want her own, don't you? Yeah, this time she's coming with me. I can tell you. My household or bubble or whatever it is they call it. She'll be out before you know it. Yeah, she's a tough cookie, my mum. Ooh, she'll have no messing about, will she? <laughs> Must be where you get it from. Did I tell you the dinner lady gave her the wrong sandwich the other day? Oh, you joking. Oh, <laughs> she didn't get them too. I bet there was out to be. <laughs> right, let's get these breakfasts sorted then. Hang on a minute. Where's the black pudding? I, I told you this weeks ago. It's too expensive. But it's a pay what you feel breakfast, Deb, not dinner with Queen. <sighs> what a shame. I love black pudding. My favourite thing on the plate. You can dip it in your egg, bob it on your toast. Can't have a fry up without black pudding if you ask oh, me. Oh, you stop going on about the sodding black pudding. Honestly, you sure you're not shacking up with miserable Martin? Who? The bloody cranberry sauce, man. Give over. <laughs> Hello? 
speaking. Right. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, God. Is he? Right. And where is he now? And he's agreeing to that, is he? Right, OK. OK, thank you for letting me know. OK, thanks. Thanks, bye. I'm only winding you up, love. Deb? You can live without black pudding, can't you? Who was that, love? It was Linda, Darren's wife. Well, his kids want me to know. Is he OK? Well, I suppose he's now. They've taken him to hospital and he'll be on his way to rehab. Well, that's a good thing, surely. You were found in a bad way. Needed stitches. Well, do you know, it sounds like he had a rough night, but maybe it's for the best. Oh, come on, love. Here, here. Drink some of this. Have some sugar. Look. You've had a shock. Go on, get that down here. Pleaded with him every day and every night. You've done your best, love. Christmas Eve, I begged him to stay. I pleaded with him, I did. There's only so much you can do, Deb. <sighs> Could have made him stay. Look, do not put this pressure on yourself. I should have put my foot down, though. Look. Whose house does he come to every time this happens, eh? You can't do this to yourself, love. It just breaks my heart. You can know. But he's going to get the help that he needs now, love. No more messing about. He knows what he means to you. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You're right, Kath. Thanks. Linda says she'll keep me updated. Well, that's good then, love, isn't it? I tell you what, next month's pot's good. I'll treat you to some black pudding. Didn't tell you, me and the Ubi nearly had a massive scrap on Christmas morning, did I tell you? Go on. Oh, I could have walloped him the swine, honestly. 7am, he sets the alarm to check the turkey. He takes care of that side of things. Right. So he turns to me. He says, you won't believe this. He says, I'm just going to go and give this bird a good stuffing and I better go and check the turkey too. <laughs> oh, he didn't. Oh, I gave him a right hiding, don't you, worry? That's a cheeky get. <laughs> <laughs> Put the lottery on this week. Mm, did you now? I did. Two mm. tickets for the Euros. So keep your fingers crossed for me, won't you? Oh, I will, love. And my toes. <laughs> what would you do? What, if I would? Yeah. If you won the big books and you were... Uh, the world was your oyster. What would you be getting up to? It's funny, I've never even thought about it. I won't be going far. I'll still be in Belle Isle, that's for sure. Oh, me too, love. Can't be too far away from me, Mum. That's it, it's family, isn't it? I wouldn't have it any other way, though. Oh, I'm the exact same. Although we can Maldives won't go amiss. <laughs> now you're talking. Hey, what's this? To Kath and Deb. Oh, a Christmas present after all. <laughs> To Kath and Deb, your hard work this Christmas saw the families of Belle Isle fed warm meals, some of whom may not have otherwise had a Christmas dinner at all. As a team, we nominated you both for the Local Heroes Award from the Lord Mayor. The Lord Mayor? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Go on, what are you stopping for? Um, we're so happy to tell you that you have won. We appreciate everything you do, and you really are our local heroes. Love from the whole team. Local heroes? Oh, you'd have believed that. Oh, I feel right emotional now. Oh, me too. I could blubber really good. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting nothing like... Well, we don't need a trophy, do we, to say? It's just that... Well, makes you feel appreciated, doesn't it? Oh, well, that's, that's made my day, that has. Makes up for the box of chocolates, eh? Well, only just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Right then, lass. <laughs> Let's get breakfast sorted. Yeah. You sausages, me bacon. As per, my love. As per.